This is a guide on how to stream almost anything from your desktop or laptop PC to your Miu Mini Plus. Yes, you can even stream from anything that remotely resembles a computer that can run Sunshine. Yes, that's right. That means you can, in fact, play Cyberpunk 2077 on your Miu Mini Plus, although it won't be ideal, and I'll get into that later. As always, everything will be timestamped below so you can skip around. I will also link a written guide, an audio mp3, and any sources used in the description and comments for those wanting the information faster. You stream to the Miu Mini Plus through the magic that is sunshine and moonlight. Now, I'm not a wizard myself, but this is how it works as far as I understand it. In simple terms, sunshine sends over the video from your computer to any device running moonlight once you pair them together. Moonlight sends over any inputs as if the device were connected directly to the computer itself. This is done wirelessly through your network. Now, I do have to note here for anyone using this, this is basically the same thing as remoting into your computer. I would be very careful in terms of sharing any login info because while there are some security hoops to jump through, it means that person can get full access to your PC. If you are super paranoid, I would run Sunshine in a virtual machine. Now that I've noted a possible security risk, let's get into the first step. You can grab the files for Sunshine from the Lizard by GitHub located here. I personally think Sunshine is great, thanks to all the brilliant contributors to this project for making gaming accessible to even more people and devices. The latest stable version of Sunshine as of this writing is 0.21.0, and this is the version that worked for me. If you have issues with this, you can try a more recent nightly version. Scroll all the way down to the download section and click downloads. Scroll all the way down and download the appropriate file for your operating system. I'm using Windows 10, so I downloaded the Sunshine Windows Portable.zip file. Once the file is downloaded, extract the contents using a program like 7-Zip. Click on sunshine.exe to run it. Give you firewall access and then exit out of the program by clicking on the X button. The reason we exit is to allow Sunshine to create the config folder and the file for this next step. This step isn't necessary, but it does make it more likely that Sunshine will be able to stream to your Miu Mini Plus. You will download a third-party script created by Nonary to set the stream resolution to the same resolution as the Miu Mini Plus's screen. This is necessary because if you stream a 1080p, a 2K, or a 4K display capture to your handheld, the Miu Mini may not be able to handle such a high resolution. Go to Nonary's GitHub page for the resolution automation script and download the latest version of the resolutionmatcher.zip file. As of this writing, the latest stable version is 2.3.1. Nonary notes here that for Windows 11 users, you have to use Windows Console Host. To do this, go to Settings, System, For Developers, Terminal, let Windows decide and change it to Terminal's Windows Console Host instead. For all the versions of Windows 11, go to Settings, Privacy and Security, for Developers, and change the setting there. I'm using Windows 10 and I didn't have to use this. If you are using GeForce Experience, you need to download a different version of the script located here. As always, all the links will be provided in the description and the comment below. Once the resolution automation script is downloaded, extract the contents using a program like 7-Zip. Navigate to the install.bat file and click on it. A box will pop up and ask you to navigate to the sunshine config file. This file will be located in a directory that you unzip the sunshine folder to. Inside the sunshine directory, go to the config directory and then find the sunshine.com file. I unzip mine to my desktop to keep things simple. If the script shows no errors, you are good to go. 
Go back to Sunshine and start up Sunshine.exe again. Boot up your browser and type this URL into the address bar. HTTPS colon four slash four slash localhost colon four seven nine nine zero. Make sure it's HTTPS and not just HTTP. Localhost simply means the computer that Sunshine is running on, and it will be using port 47990 to make that connection. Your browser may warn you of a security risk. I'm using Firefox and it displayed this error. Click on Advanced and then accept the risk and continue. The first time, it will ask you to create a username and password. Do not share this with anyone. Once you fill it in, the page will refresh after a few seconds and you will have to log in. Once you log in, you will now see the Sunshine Control Panel. Go to the Pin tab located on the top in the navigation bar. This is where we'll leave Sunshine for now. You will also need the IP address of your computer running Sunshine in a later step. There is a very easy way to find out your IP address on Windows. Start the command prompt by typing in CMD in the search bar and pressing enter in Windows 10. In the command prompt, type in ipconfig with no spaces. Your IP address will most likely start with 192.168.0 and end with a number. This is your local IP address and it only works while you are on your network. Write this down somewhere for later. Now the Sunshine side has been completed, I will move on to installing Moonlight on the Miu Mini Plus. We have Moonlight on the Miu thanks to user XK9274. Before we download Moonlight, you need to make sure you are running Onion OS. If you are running version 4.2.3 or higher, you are good to go as of this writing. I am currently running version 4.3.0 which is the latest stable version. If you don't have Onion OS, installing it is very simple. Just make sure your SD card is formatted to FAT32 and not XFAT using a tool like Rufus or GUI Format. And then simply download, extract, and then copy the contents of the Onion OS download onto your SD card using a micro SD card adapter. If you are already running Onion OS and want to update to the latest version, all you have to do is remember to overwrite the files with the same names when copying them over. Your save files, ROMs, and save states will not be affected, so do not worry about updating. If you are concerned, you can always be safe and just back up all of your save states, files, and ROMs if you are worried. You can also connect your Miu Mini Plus to Wi-Fi and use the over-the-air option to download the update directly onto your handheld. I will note here that there are some issues with using the over the air option, so you may want to just copy the files directly onto your SD card. Alright, we'll move back to installing Moonlight now that we've taken care of Onion OS. Go to XK9274's GitHub page to get the Moonlight app for Miu, and download the latest version located here. As of this writing, the latest version is 1.5.1. Once the file is downloaded, extract the contents using a program like 7-Zip. Before we copy your folder onto your Miu's micro SD card, navigate to Moonlight Config and open the settings.json file. Here you can rebind the controls if you want and you can also overclock the handheld. You can increase the CPU clock setting in the settings.json file to 1800 or even 1900 if you want. 1900 for me was very unstable, so I chose to overclock it to 1800. Just keep in mind overclocking can cause some instability issues in the app. After you save the changes, copy the entire Moonlight folder onto the SD card in the app directory. You can also just connect the Miu Mini Plus to your network and wirelessly transfer the files into the app folder if you want to use this method. After Moonlight is copied, safely eject the micro SD card and plug it back into the handheld and turn it on. If you use the wireless transfer method, relaunch the main menu or simply reboot your device. Once the device is on, make sure Wi-Fi is turned on in the settings and that you are connected to your home network. Navigate to Apps and launch Moonlight. Once it starts, go to Pair and you will have to type in your computer's IP address that you wrote down from before. 
Type the IP address you wrote down into the pair option on your Miu Mini Plus. Once it connects, it will give you a four digit pin number. Type this number into Sunshine on your computer and hit enter. Now the devices should be paired. Make sure you do not share this pin number as well. Now this is where the problems start. If your Wi-Fi network at home is very weak, or if you're far from the router, the Miu's connection may constantly hang or disconnect. If this happens, you need to get closer to your router. My room is not that far from the router, but I cannot use it at all. I need to get about 10 feet from the router for the connection to be usable. Your mileage may vary because I've seen other people successfully stream from across the other side of their massive homes. Moonlight may or may not work well for you depending on where you are located in your building. Your computer running Sunshine also needs to have decent specs. Most desktops and laptops should be able to handle a 480p stream, but if you are running a potato, it may struggle a little bit. Okay, once you got the device connected, now you can do anything on your PC on your Miu Mini Plus. Go to Stream and then pick Steam Big Picture Mode or Desktop. They're both a bit buggy, so you'll have to tinker around a bit here and see which one works best for you. For me, the desktop option did seem to work a little bit better. Before I get into the actual experience of the streaming, here are some handy hotkeys. Pressing select and A will simulate mouse input. It feels the same as using the stylus in Drastic. That is to say, it is not very ideal and almost unusable. Pressing select an L1, L2, or R1, R2 will switch screens. Pressing select and menu at the same time will exit Moonlight. L1 is bound to E, L2 is bound to Q, R1 is bound to T, R2 is bound to P, X is bound to X, Y is bound to Y, A is bound to space, B is bound to backspace, start is bound to enter, and select is bound to M. The D-pad is bound to the arrow keys. Some games don't recognize the arrow keys, so you may want to change this to WASD, but then you can't navigate in the Moonlight app because that is expecting arrow inputs. So you have to figure out a compromise of keybinds to get games working for you. Sometimes Moonlight will hang on your device. Check the Sunshine app to see if there is a message saying the client disconnected or not. If the Sunshine client reports that the Miu did disconnect, then your device is pretty much frozen and you'll have to force a shutdown and reboot it and try again. Okay, moving on to the actual experience of using Moonlight now. You'll notice that thanks to the resolution matcher script, your desktop resolution will turn into 480p while streaming. Some games don't support 480p like Elden Ring, so it'll just stay at whatever resolution you had on your desktop. Some other games, will not also support 480p like Cyberpunk, and you will not be able to navigate the menu because it will be zoomed in. For some games, you're going to want to start them on your computer first and have them load up completely and then start streaming on Sunshine and then open Moonlight on your Miu Mini Plus. It's going to take a lot of work figuring out which games to load first, which games will support the 480p resolution, how to force that resolution if you want, and so forth. There's going to be a lot of tinkering on a per game basis. It's going to be a little bit frustrating figuring out which games work and how to change the resolution settings so you can have the game actually playable. You may also need to change your resolution back after you're done streaming, so this may bother some people. I'm used to doing all of this stuff, so it was a minor inconvenience for me, but for someone who's not tech savvy, I think this will be kind of frustrating to deal with. The lack of joysticks means modern 3D PC games will be very hard to play. You can move or look, but you won't be able to do both at once. Also, depending on the default keybinds for the PC game, you won't even be able to move with the arrow keys. Most games use WASD, so you have to find a way to rebind your keys in a way that works. This will be kind of difficult to do. Another downside is that the already smallest screen Definitely feels even tinier when playing modern games or watching videos. I much prefer using my Steam Deck in this scenario or even my phone with a controller rather than use the Miu. Speaking of videos, watching videos is pretty much a good experience. However, having to change videos by using the D-pad and the lack of a proper keyboard is not a great experience. I would also like to note here that the battery life while using Moonlight 
is incredibly short. The biggest thing is the frustration factor. If you're tech savvy and you're used to tinkering around, this will be no problem for you because anytime you run across a problem, you'll be able to look it up and fix it. However, for the average user who is not tech savvy, I can imagine that this is going to be very frustrating and the handheld will be at risk of being thrown across the room and the screen broken. There were many problems trying to figure out this process and when I got it to work, it was pretty cool, but there were definitely moments that were frustrating and I can't imagine many people being okay with those moments. The trade-off just doesn't seem to be worth it. That said, the amount of things you can do is quite surprising. You're basically remoting into your PC so you have the power of your desktop in a tiny form factor. In conclusion, what it boils down to is that while the technology is definitely amazing, it's not the most comfortable to use on the Mew Mini Plus. It's definitely meant for something with a larger screen, proper joysticks, and just better hardware. The spotty performance depending on your Wi-Fi network is also a bit of a downer. You may not be able to use it where you want to, which removes the advantage of having a portable handheld in the first place. The battery life is also abysmal. That said, there are definitely use cases for streaming to your Mi Mini Plus. You can use it to emulate games at a higher quality and better performance, and even systems that normally can't run on the Mi Mini Plus on your desktop and play them on your handheld. You can also play most modern games that only require a D-pad on the Mi Mini as well, as long as there's no small text. The Sky 7 kind of ran well, but the keybinds were kind of hard to figure out. Playing your PC games comfortably while on the couch or lying down is definitely a bonus for sure when Moonlight works. Devices like the Steam Deck can get pretty heavy and you wouldn't want that chonky boy to fall down on your face. In my honest opinion, most people probably will not end up using Moonlight on the Mew Mini Plus. However, the Mew Mini Flip will come with joysticks and have more powerful hardware, so that should be a better match. Who am I kidding? I'm just finding an excuse to talk about the flip. I really hope the hinges are robust. Anyways, that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for dropping by and watching. Hope this guide helped. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. If there are any updates to the guide, the written guide should be kept up to date and I'll leave comments on the video as well to reflect any changes. As always, hope you guys are staying safe and seen out there. And catch you guys next time.